but to see I know that I want that one to go there this is the one that I want to um, use for my throwback photo I might use that one and I also have it in a three by four um, let's see I think I'm going this way like this and then I need some three by six I think the way I'm gonna go is I'm always gonna have a, oh here is a pocket that I made and I'm always gonna have like a saying on this side and some type of embellishment on this side or a photo I don't know or I might even put it like this and divide up a photo photo we'll see and then let me pull out my photos that I wanted to use this is a photo of my daughter she's brushing her hair for the first we got this um really really uh nice brush that is supposed to not um because her hair is so long and thick um it's supposed to be like ouchless so that she'll be able to brush her hair without um feeling any type of um any type of like um, pool on our hair or anything. So, I'm gonna leave that one blank for a minute. I'm trying to see which picture I wanna do in there. I might put all of those there. This was, oh, you guys can't see. Hold on, let me move it up a little bit. This is Pancake Sunday. We're still going to keep that tradition going on from Christmas. And here is my Zumba, my son's birthday. My nephew came to visit my cousin, me and him, for um, New Year's. And then a photo of me with the New Year's glasses on. And then that really cute picture that's at the top. Which I might cut this out and put a little... Um, box there. I'll get my bigger scissors. I cut straighter with my bigger scissors than I do with my smaller ones. And then actually I'm going to go ahead and go across two because I wanted to put my son's um, well my son's birthday it was this week as well. So let's see how that looks. And then I'm going to use one of these cards it's probably going to be a craft card since I've already used um, black and white I'm going to do a craft behind it and then I'm going to put one of these and then I think I'm going to use this one I don't want to forget this and I'm going to put it like that or I was thinking maybe a heart too and then put something there. Or I could put happy little moments. That's a cute one. Or I could put the life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. That's really cute to put there. Anyway, I might just put one of these there. The best is yet to come. And love. And that one has nothing on it. Or this heart. I'm thinking I might do, um, I don't want to forget this. And do it just like that. So, this one, like this. So, let me go ahead and get my adhesive. I like that. Then I might, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some puff adhesive on there and let it puff out. Give it some dimension. And then, let's see. And 
there we go. And then we can add like a I think what I'm going to pull out is my um, enamel dots. black and white that's a black one and a white one and then that one is going to go into that pocket then let's work on this one like I said this is pancake Sunday and I went over that with you guys in my December daily but for my new subscribers um, Basically, on Sundays, I cook pancakes for my family and my husband and I sit down and um, we talk with our children and, you know, uh, either we play games that morning after that or we um, listen to music while we're sitting there and uh, we just get to communicate with our children and find out what's going on and what's new. Um, that's happening with them so that's definitely a thing that we want to keep going not just for Christmas we wanted to keep it going and then I saw this one so happy and I'm just gonna cut it down just a little bit to see if I could tuck it put it in somewhere I might be able to do it here and then I'm not liking it, so I won't use it. I might just use that gold happy. Put some enamel dots. I got quite a bit of gold on there already, so I'm just put um, white and black enamel dots, and then I'm gonna be done with that card. For this card right here, my son and my well, my sister decided she was gonna take my son, well, both of my boys to see Star Wars uh, the day New Year's Day, and so here's their tickets, and I made this like cute. Uh, pocket by cutting another card and it says it doesn't get better than this and then I want to put a star there I'm gonna put a star uh oh a star right here and I and my husband and I actually went and seen the Star Wars on that Tuesday I think when the kids went back to school or Wednesday it could have been Wednesday oh my gosh and I loved it at first I didn't want to go see it but then I was like yeah let's go ahead and go see it and I really enjoyed it and I'm like oh my goodness where's Luke I was looking for Luke the whole time <laughs> and he ended up being like a, well I don't want to spoil it so anyway here is um, in case somebody hasn't seen it so anyway this is the pocket I put the star there and then I'm thinking I'm gonna add an enamel dot over here in black and a larger one in white And then I'm, I'm looking down here too. I might add a bigger one and then a smaller one. I love em enamel dots, but I guess everybody does. So I normally keep mine in a three though. So like in a cluster of three, I might add a gold one because there is no gold, but the gold star is right here. So might do it this way and then put the white closer to the gold and I'm happy with that and then I want to add I'm gonna add another one here a gold one here okay so 
Now I need to, I'm going to get the picture of my son. He was getting ready to go. And he was talking to uh, my nephew. And my nephew is 18. So he, the look on my son's face was just like, really? What are you talking about? And it's like, whatever. He had like this whatever look on his face. Can you guys see that? He had like this whatever look. Because this is my nephew and my nephew is talking to him. And he's like, whatever. And so I think I have a stamp that says whatever. So I'm going to go back and look for it in my stamps. I have to pull them out. But I'm going to put like whatever like in a speech bubble. From what my son is saying. But I have to, I'll have to cut that down. Probably have to find me a smaller um, speech bubble. So now let's go to this one this one right here i was debating whether or not i wanted to use the larger one this is my sort of th throwback an older picture or if i wanted to use this smaller one and i can see the heart or just this one and i think i'm gonna go with just this one because it's larger and i'm able to see it and what i'll do is i'll add a heart right here I'll put my enamel dots over here in this empty space in my cluster of three and then I want to put something here if I have a I don't have a white heart and that's what I wanted to put here in the middle I wonder if that red would throw all of my colors off it probably would if I was to put the red heart there it'll knock everything off so anyway I like that so that's that card is done Let's go over here. And this is the one that I want to put my week on. So, week and then document it. And then I'll put some enamel dots on there. Okay, everybody. Sorry about that. My camera died. And I had no idea. I kept on going. And then when I looked up, I was like, oh, no, my camera died. So, anyway, I went back to my pictures that I had the um, all the photos on. And I went through the um, uh, craft market. And I added on their friends for life for me and my cousin and a gold enamel dot. And then I went back up to that picture and I put remember this. Um, from the craft market and I finished my week one card like I said my camera cut off so you guys didn't see that and then um, now I'm looking for a saying to put on my daughter's photo and then on my son's photo I ended up putting um, oh boy on there instead of whatever and so um, then on my daughters, I put on there sweet little you. And I'm going to put um, a heart and an enamel dot next to her picture. And then um, I changed the enamel dot from black to white. And then now I'm adding like this little flag above... Um, next to my nephew's face and then I'm gonna put a star and a gold enamel dot. And then after that, I'm gonna go and add the heart to my daughter's picture. And as you can see, like my week one, the car, how I did it, that's not how it's actually going to end up looking. So you might, when at the end of the video, I normally add still pictures so that you guys can see it. 
And here I'm adding a heart and then I'm going to add two enamel dots to the smile. Happiness looks good on you. And I think this is really cute because it's pointing towards my daughter and she's smiling really big because she was proud of herself for brushing her hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also put a, I think I'm going to go ahead and go start, oh, I'm going to work back on my, on my week one. I took that tab from up under there. I didn't like that. And I'm actually going to look in my stash and find my washi tape that I used from Christmas, which is from Studio Calico. I'm not sure who it, who is it by or anything. I remember it came in one of my Studio Calico um, kits. So anyway, I'm going to stick it in here for now, but eventually I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again. And now I'm just rounding my corners. And then I'm going to slide it into the card, I mean, into the protective sleeves. And that's what I'm doing for all of the photos. And I'm just go ahead and slide them in. And pretty much this is going to complete um, the first page for me for um, week one. And then stay tuned for week week one part two um because it took me such a long time to do this i do have a part one and part two so um thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part two and um photos are coming up